You believe in evil? Yes. I believe that there are destructive forces, mm -hmm. but when you add rage to that, that becomes evil. And I, I believe that that is a manifestation of ourselves, that how, we don't have to have a bogey band to blame it so on. How do you explain all of the pain, the suffering, the rage, and the violence in the world without a Satan figure? You explain it because of ignorance, the fact that we think of ourselves as separate from each other, the fact that we identify ourselves with our race, with our religion, with our culture, and that's our limited identity, that we don't understand that there's a deeper humanity where we are all inseparable from each other, that we have an experience of love and compassion that is authentic, that we realize that there's no me without you. When I can see myself in you, no matter how evil you are, then I have a deeper understanding of you as well. You know, the divine and the diabolical are different faces of the infinite. Their will, it's the divine feeling ill. So, well, let, me get a, let me get a response from you two on that. Uh, the, the notion that what's at the source of our suffering is ignorance as opposed to, to use Deepak's term, uh, an external boogeyman. How he also that? said that there are more wars and death than ever at the same time that he would say that there is greater enlightenment, evolution, and education than ever. And how higher consciousness could lead to higher evil than is contradictory in his own system. Whenever you have evolution, then the fearful forces get even more fearful. So, you know, so-called evil tries to keep pace with evolution. But evolution is always ahead of entropy. That's the, otherwise we wouldn't have evolution. You know, the fact that we have evolution, evolution is ahead. But as soon as, you know, you move to the next stage of consciousness, then the fearful forces, they get, there's more turbulence. When there's a phase transition in thinking, then people whose primitive beliefs are threatened, they become even more fearful and therefore more destructive. But you talk it's about fear but you more talk than about anything love else. Love and compassion and unity, and keep demeaning people by calling them primitive. I don't know how those work together. I think you know we have to understand that there are different levels of understanding. I'm not calling them evil. I'm calling them primitive. And you don't think that's a bit pretentious? I think, I think I mean, you have Deepak to... is here, and then no, others no, no. are here, and Listen, rednecks are down at the bottom. You're putting, you're putting all your faith in that book, which no. was written 5,000 years no. ago. I, I put my faith in the man that this book tells the story of. It, you put your faith in the English version of the man who tells the story. You know, if you had ever written, uh, read about the other scholarly work that has been done about the fact that Jesus spoke in Aramaic with his name is Yeshua bar al-Aha and when people quote the Gospel of John and say you know no one comes into the uh, kingdom of heaven except through me well do you know that the Aramaic word for me is ena ena which means the eye within the eye which means the spirit when Jesus is talking to the crowd in the Gospel of John when People start to stone him and he says, many good works have I shown you, for which of these do you stone me? And they say, we stone you not for a good work that you do, we stone you for blasphemy because you being a man call yourself a God. And what does Jesus do? He quotes from the scripture, Old Testament, goes back to the time of King David, uh, speaks from the song of Asaf, which was written a thousand years before him. He says, is it not written in your law that you are God's? If it can be said of those to whom the word, the logos, the knowledge of God came, the consciousness of God came, that they are gods, then why do you say I blaspheme? And if you go back to the Hebrew, the word God means ruler and those in authority, not divinity. You can pull out the Aramaic and you're ignoring the Hebrew back in Psalms. He doesn't say we're divine. He says we have authority and we're rulers and we're responsible does for the decisions we make. Does he not say elsewhere all things that I do, you can do and more? Does he not say I and the Father are one? I am in you, you are in me. Does he not say abide in me as I abide in you? What does it mean to abide in you? It means that God puts his spirit within us, not that we're part of the karmic consciousness. I still see two, creator, creation. 
and by God coming for me, giving me his spirit, that connects me to him through Jesus, but that does not make me God. And what of all the people in the world who never heard of Jesus? Are they damned forever? What of all the people who lived before Jesus, who was only a little more than 2,000 years ago? What about them? Those were... And there are millions of them. Two things. One, ultimately, there was anticipation more than 2,000 years ago for the coming of Jesus. The Jews had a clear concept of the Messiah. Secondly, it is God who saves. Unlike your system, where there is no one outside of the system, my God comes into the system and he saves. And he can save anyone he likes. He can save people anywhere, anytime. And God is gracious and loving, so I trust God to do what is okay, best. By the way, I don't have a system. I have only found one philosophy. Well, for a guy I, with higher I consciousness, want to, I expect I want more. to seek the company of those. I want to seek the company of those who are looking for the truth, but I want to run away from those who have found it. Well, Jesus said he was the truth, and that's what I'm looking for. Okay, one last question from me, uh, and this is for Annie. Annie, how do, how do you conceive of the the devil, of Satan? Is it as we see in the cartoons? A, a, red guy with horns? Is it, a, is it an impersonal force? What it, in your mind, how do you view Satan? I don't think of him as the man with the horns or the weird gargoyle face or anything like that. My experience personally, I never saw his face. I saw demons, and I don't even want to tell you what they look like. I was held down by demons at night, uh, raped by them. I know this might sound crazy to some of you, but it really happened, and it happens to a lot of the women in the sex industry. When you sleep with a lot of men, you pull a, a, lot, a lot of the things that are in their lives, which is you know, debauchery because they're searching for a woman and paying for sex. And it's against what God believes in because ultimately, God doesn't hate sex. He loves sex. He wants us to be in a consecrated relationship with someone. Marriage, okay, just like our relationship with him. He wants us to be true to him. And when we go outside of the context of marriage, we, we end up bringing all kinds of bad things like adultery, uh, uh, diseases happen with sex. So when a woman sleeps with a man for money, or even not for money, and she sleeps around and becomes promiscuous, she ends up picking up a lot of the bad things that the men are asking her for. And so it opens up all kinds of doors for bad things to happen. I've woken up with scratches on my body. Um, I have just, I've had the worst experience. I, I when had... When you say you've been held down, I'm mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt, but when you say you were held down by demons, yes. do you mean actual supernatural beings or yes. demons? Yes, I could, not, I could not physically see them though. I was held on, I could not move. And I could not, I could not see anything. But when I was... And were these their clients? That no, you... you know, no, there was nobody in the room. I was by myself. It's impossible. But I actually had men choke me. And then uh, when I came to, I saw red eyes and black faces. And I didn't recognize the person that was choking me. Didn't know where I was. And I know I do believe that part of your brain does get damaged from being choked. But how do you explain the face? How do you explain the nasty feeling that you have and the death feeling and the feeling that you're getting pulled into hell? That, that is not created. That, that is something by, by yourself. That is something that, that gets brought into you because there's devils and demons attacking you.